been developing right now. A short time ago, we received an Associated Press alert that Defense Department officials fear the possibility of an inside attack at the inauguration this week. Reports like that are why security is very tight in Washington and at state capitals, including Springfield, where the National Guard is helping police. CBS 2's Stephen Graves is live with the latest on security efforts. Stephen? Well, Jim, first of all, we want to make this clear here in Chicago. Officials say there are no known threats. Same in Springfield, like you said, where the National Guard is, as the FBI continues to warn about potential violent protests at state capitals across the country. Capitol grounds in Illinois this weekend on lockdown. Streets closed, armored trucks out. 250 National Guardsmen standing by in support of Capitol and county police. With the National Guard supporting law enforcement um, has been, you know, a key factor to probably the, the reduced amount of protest. Save Our State demonstrations were planned in Springfield this weekend. About a dozen people showed up, but nothing to consider a threat. In Michigan, about 100 protesters, some armed, came out, but remained peaceful. Like Illinois, Indiana's state house barely had much action. Our um, citizens should really feel uh, secure, uh, both here in the state, I think the na nation's capital. <laughs> The deadly insurrection at the Capitol in D.C. from President Donald Trump supporters sparking this nationwide response as all eyes are on safety there for President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. The department's police chief deploying every available resource. The tightest security that I've ever seen. Thousands of supporting officers are coming in from across the country. Troops and barbed wire fencing will also aid in security. Larger cities in the U.S. are on guard for potential unrest as well. Chicago's Office of Emergency Management says it is not expecting any protest activity leading up to Wednesday, but it is prepared to deploy any safeguards if needed. And come Inauguration Day, the city's OEMC will operate its emergency operations center and the National Guard will only be at the state capitol. They are prepared to stay there past Wednesday if need be. Reporting, I'm Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Jim. Stephen, thank you for complete coverage of the inauguration. Watch CBS 2 on Wednesday. CBS This Morning starts at 6 to kick off a day of reports. Then the inauguration special starts at 8 a.m. You can also see a full wrap-up of the day on CBSChicago.com.